Hey everybody, this is Jill and this is Jill for today. You know how much I love to use my freezer and you know how much I love to preserve food there. Well, I got a great buy on carrots. So I'm going to show you how to get those carrots prepared, frozen and packed up for your freezer. So when you need to make them, you know, available for soup or stew or chili or whatever it is you usually cook, they'll be ready for you. Let's get started. This is so darn easy. You're going to wonder why you never did it before, right? So I have, you know, my carrots, which I have topped and gotten the, the top and the bottom off. And I'm just going to, I washed them very well before I got started. And I made sure that the carrots, you know, looked fresh and there weren't any uh, horrible, you know, problems with them. So I just gave them a quick, a quick peel. And here I have a nice little container here where I put all my scraps so they're all contained and I don't know whether you you know if you're a broth maker you might find a way to use some of those for making broth so then what I do is I just you know because I'm using my chopper and I'll show you that I measure the best width for that and then I just go through and I just you know cut them to the available uh, you know to go onto the chopper. The other thing too is I like to also slice them and freeze them. So then, you know, they're, they're ready to go. So if I want to slice them and freeze them that way, I can. So I'm just going to show you a chopping method today. So I'm going to move my board out of the way right now. And I'm going to bring my chopper in. And this is a wonderful chopper. I, I need to do a review on it because I'm just so thrilled with it. So, you know, you're just going to put your carrots in there. Now, see, they're small enough that I can put those in there whole. I don't have to worry about, you know, cutting them other than to the length. And then I'm just going to, you know, give them a, a nice little whack. I'll do another one here as I'm doing them for you. And right now I just have the, I'll just quickly show you this. I have all my carrots here in just some cold water. So I've cut up, you know, a bunch ahead which makes it convenient. And then, as I said, I just go through here and start, you know, uh, chopping them in here. This is the Mueller. It's great. Anyway, as you can see here, I'll bring these up close. I have nice little chunks here. And these are perfect. You know, if you want to put them in a soup or a chili or whatever you might be cooking that you need carrots. The other thing these make are fabulous steamed carrots. You know, you, you steam them up or you know boil them in a small amount of water until they're tender and they are absolutely perfect. I'm going to finish cutting up my carrots getting them all chopped ready to go into the blanching uh, portion of preserving these carrots. And we'll I have my pot at a good rolling boil and I'm going to put these in for two minutes. I'm going to blanch these for two minutes. I want to make sure that the water comes back to a complete boil before I start that timer. Because as you know, that food goes in there cold. And we're gonna give this a moment. Here comes that boil coming back up. All right, I'm gonna set my timer right now for two minutes. And let these continue to boil this is called blanching and you need to do that so you break down some of those enzymes that can you know make the carrots deteriorate in the freezer a much quicker once these are done in their two minute blanch i'm going to drain them and we'll be back my carrots cooked for two minutes in that boiling water i've drained them well and now i am plunging them in to ice water just you know, I threw, uh, you started with some cold water and I threw some ice cubes in there so that water would be nice and cold. And I'm going to allow these to get nice and cold. And if I find I need more ice cubes, I'll put more ice cubes in I'm there. I'm going to allow these carrots to get good and cold. And it should probably take 10 minutes. I don't think much more than that. And uh, once that is done, I'm going to bring you back and we're going to be on the last step of this adventure of freezing carrots. My carrots have been drained and now I'm going to put them on a towel and I'm just going to spread them out here and, and just pat them. Just get the majority, you know, a good amount of that water off them. All right, see, that's a pretty simple step there. 
And now I'm going to bring a cookie sheet in, my, my workhorse cookie sheet, which I've had for a, about 35 years, and I don't use it for baking cookies anymore, but it's a great, great sheet for doing other things. So I'm going to pour these um, carrots, and I've lined it with uh, parchment paper. I find that when you freeze these directly onto a cookie sheet, they have a little harder time, you know, they, they stick. So parchment paper, wax paper, aluminum foil, anything like that. So I'm going to spread these out because they're getting ready to go in the freezer. Oh, they're nice and cold. So that should help with the speeding up of that um, the freezing I'm going to put these in my freezer on the cookie sheet. And I have actually a space I'm lucky in my home, you know, my refrigerator freezer. I can slip them in there real easily. But, you know, if you had like a regular storage freezer, you know, uh, they would go in there, I'm sure. So I'm going to let these get frozen. Um, and at this size, right, this size, it shouldn't take really more than an hour. And uh, once these are frozen up, I'll bring you back. Well, it's taken about an hour for these carrots to freeze up firmly. So let's take a look what I have here. Here are my chopped ones, and they're nicely frozen. And then while you were away, I sliced up uh, sliced carrots. So you can do these, you know, you can do them either way. So now all you need to do is, you know, mark a bag, shows the date. And, and you know, I don't have to say carrots because this is pretty obvious. But I did, you know, add the word chopped so I know which ones are chopped and which ones are sliced. And if I can be neat here, which I don't know whether it's going to happen or not. There we go. Oh, she did it. All right. Now, of course, I did this kind of on a, a, a sample basis. I would do a, probably more than this. Then I will go ahead and do these sliced ones. And I will. I've got five pounds of carrots that I got on sale. So those are all going to, except for just a few for my refrigerator, are going to go into the freezer. And if you garden, of course, you know, you have all those wonderful carrots that'll come out and you can do the same process unless you're a canner. All right, so I'm going to zip this up. Now these will go back in my freezer and when I need carrots I can pull them out if I want to, you know, steam them with some butter and a glaze. I can do that. If I want to put them into a chili or a soup or a stew, I can do that. And just for your just for your information, approximately two carrots equal one cup, chopped or sliced. So if a recipe calls for two carrots, you know to pull out about a cup of carrots. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope it inspires you to go out there and get some carrots on sale because if I can do this, you can. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe and tell your friends to come on over. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.